In this video, I'm going to be going over five marketing strategies to help you expand your business. Note that not all of these strategies might work for your specific brand or niche, but I hope that you gather inspiration from them to see how you could twist or tweak them to your benefit. All right, let's start off with a short clip. Did you see what they did there? Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you, but no one in the history of Google is going to do this to search for your brand, unless you're bribing them. This leads us to our first strategy, improve your online presence. You need to focus on your SEO. If you have larger competitors, then start small. Focus on your local town or state, and then move forward as you progress and learn more. Diving deeper into your website, you can use heat maps to see where your customers are looking and spending time on your site. Use this to your advantage. See what you can improve upon. Another way that you can drive people to your site is through PPC marketing, where you run an ad and only pay per click that you receive. This significantly reduces your risk of paying more than you need to. Besides your website, use social media to expand your brand. Make sure to use push notifications to remind your audience that you still exist. You can also focus on your email marketing. When targeting campaigns, just remember the rule of seven. It takes about seven instances of contact for your customers to buy from you. Remember that you want to keep yourself fresh on their minds. Okay. Okay, now that you're the talk of the town and getting more calls from clients, you'll want to try out chatbots. This is going to save you tons of time and effort. Once you've nailed down your local area, it's time to expand. A powerful way to do this is through influencer marketing. Try offering affiliate links, collaborating, or maybe even sponsoring popular figures. Just get your name out there. In a world that's ever evolving, you need to too in order to stay on top. Which leads us to our second marketing strategy. Continuously learn and adapt. There are so many ways to learn and improve your business to stay topical. You can attend workshops, offer your own workshops, hire a consultant for guidance, automate any process you can, launch new products, try rebranding, post podcasts, attend trade shows, offer subscriptions, discounts, guarantees, free shipping, experiment with AR or VR, focus on your corporate social responsibility so that you and your customers feel better about your brand, collaborate with universities to get fresh ideas from students, and possibly recruit, try upselling so that you don't leave any money on the table, etc. Try using A-B testing to see which strategies work best for your business. If you're having trouble concluding what methods are working for you, then it's time to reach out to those who are actively experiencing it. Which leads us to strategy number three. Focus on your customer. I cannot express enough how important your customers are. Without them, you would not have a business. I'm sure you already know this, so here are some different ways that you can take action to improve your customer's relationship with your brand. Okay, first, let's take a look at Amazon. This is our go-to for ordering online. We all know that if something goes wrong with our order, they'll just replace it and it'll be a painless transaction. But how is it that everyone automatically knows this? Well, they've built a reputation and stayed true to it. If your customer is happy, then they'll tell their friends and your business will spread. If something is not going right and you just can't figure it out, then introduce exit surveys to ask what you can improve on. Let's take a look at this clip. This is the level that you want your customers to be connected to your brand. You want to build a community through your brand that makes it seem alive and real. There are many ways that you can build a community with your audience. You can host events, offer customization to products, launch interactive videos to engage with your audience, offer loyalty programs, introduce client portals, host virtual or in-person scavenger hunts, encourage customers to post reviews on your business, etc. Keep in mind your different types of customers and approach them in different ways. For example, if I were selling journals, my approach to a younger person would be drastically different than to an adult. I would have some kind of popular cartoon on the kids journal and a solid aesthetically pleasing color for the adult one. Knowing how to target your specific audiences is crucial to your expansion, but no matter who your audience is, you want to make things as easy as possible for them to buy from you. Offer free trials, optimize for mobile, implement progressive web apps, introduce 3D visuals 
of your products with zoom in and out features so that the customer is engaged and less likely to have to return their purchase. Offer online demos, offer financing options, and flexible payment options, etc. You just want to make things easy for them. You will also want to make sure that things are easy and smooth when partnering or collaborating with others. Which leads us to strategy number four, networking. If you build good relationships and personal connections with others, then your opportunities to expand your business will grow. Be comfortable reaching out to others. Get creative with ways to keep in touch to build on your relationships. We all want to have good experiences, and if you can associate yourself with that, then people will be more likely to share your story and business with others. Networking is also a great way to learn from others. If you haven't already, I would find a mentor. Find people who know more than you and have more success. Maybe schedule monthly or weekly calls with them. If you have physical locations, I would search for people in different states, countries, see what they're doing right, and improve your business. If you learn something along the way, then share it with them and build on that relationship. You also want to focus on building relationships with those that work for you, which leads us to our final strategy. Focus on your employees. By having employees, you get to hand off your tasks to others so that your business can fully operate and even thrive without you. If you want, you could take this newfound time to learn new things and expand your business. But first you have to build growing relationships with your employees. If you want them to invest their time in your company, then you need to invest in them. You can start by training them to ensure that they have the tools that they need in order to thrive and grow. This might take outside resources to properly equip them. Once you've got the ball rolling, you want to provide your employees with incentives to show your appreciation for their work and make them feel like they actually have a purpose working with you. You don't necessarily have to throw money at them. You could have check-ins to encourage and compliment them, or you could host employee of the month awards and add a twist. You generally want employees to stick around so that you don't have to rehire and train new people. Also, so that you build those long-term relationships through the company. All right, let's watch this clip. I started when I was 16. My goal is to be here forever. I'll do it for as long as I possibly can. It just seems like yesterday I started and here I am. That's why I love my Martins. That's right, you can make your employees your brand ambassadors. You'll get authentic promotion from people that are thriving in the environment that you've created and further help them with a sense of purpose through your company. If you foster good messages throughout your workspace, your employees will take that with them to your customers. Congratulations! You now know five marketing strategies to help expand your business. But if your business isn't your only investment and you have or are thinking about getting stocks, then make sure to watch this video.